going on everybody it's just me tonight let me fix my hair uh, we're down at edgewater for Cincy street nights it's a track about less than an hour from our house gets pretty rowdy small tire street race channels here a bunch of people uh big heavy hitters come here some of the fastest uh, no prep passes you'll ever see happen right here it's a beautiful track sun's going down behind us We'll get some footage. Drag racing is a little boring on the footage, but uh, I'll try to get some highlights. Uh, it's just a Friday night. My boy went out with his grandparents and my girls at work, so I'm going to go down here and rail elbows with the race car drivers. So we'll see you here in a minute. What the hell? Hey, that's a 80 foot setup. Check this out. Look at this. Look at this. His trailer wasn't long enough, so he actually, that's a crew cap long bed with at least four foot added. What is the absolute hell? What's going on here? I've seen it all. This here's a piece of contraption. Why would you do that? 80 foot wasn't long enough? Ah, oh, dang, man. What's up everybody? Uh, back in the garage. I can't sit still once I got something
burning in my mind, I got to roll with it. So here we are. We're going to do a few things and get some steel mocked up on the side of this. I got to get a visual going in my head. We got to keep moving forward. I got to keep painting pretty pictures and thoughts in my head. Go ahead and cut the piece for the other side because I know it'll work. What do you think? Seems pretty close to me. just temporary to hold it in place. Don't worry. It's on there. It's part of it. See how much I got down in just five minutes? Now I can check it out, drive by it, look at it, see if I like it. I had to do a little bit so I could get my mind right. We'll catch back up here as soon as I get back on it. What's going on, everybody? Exciting day around here. Don't mind that falling tool. Exciting day. Air ride showed up. I've never installed air ride, but I can do anything, I think. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. We'll see. I haven't even opened it yet. So we're going to open it up, see what we got. It all goes back here. Two compressors, a tank, bags. Let's check her out. Let's open it together. Staples galore. My favorite color. Air Max Triple X. Got to find a beautiful place to mount that. Make sure nothing else is in the box. All right, there's one. I love it. But this box, I didn't get nothing out. Here's the four bag valves. Dot valves, bag 90 degree fittings. Air slam it, wheels and parts, airbag hardware kit. Ah. Got a bag, got another bag, got another bag. Now there's some parts in this I'm not going to use. Some of these parts I won't use because I ordered this for a half ton C10 and I have a three quarter ton C20. I already got two bags installed. I may just leave them in there. Front lower cups. Front upper plates. Drill four holes. Mount the bag, put your fitting on. Put her up in there. Directions. Won't be needing them. Don't need no sticking directions. I need a box with parts I'm not going to use. These are for the rear of a C10 with coil springs. I don't have that. But I will save them. Someday I'll need them. 
All right, spare parts box has been established. Doggy, what do we got here? Now we're talking. That's a little bit of up, down, all around right there. Imagine we'll have to run this into the cab through the floor. Rainy Saturday. I was going to go to a gasser, Southeast Gassers Dragster Race up at Southeast Gassers. They kill care today, but it's raining. All right, they even got a daggone smatic here. Pink is input. Oh, god dang. Duh. Pink is input. White is front left up. Yellow is front left down. See, I'm learning. Boom. Boom, right there. Two. Oh, we got this. We got this. No problem. Set that over here. Let's put that back in its own little box here. We won't need that quite yet. Moving along. I need to buy a set of injectors. We get the motor fired up, buttoned up, fired up. I ordered header bolts. They're coming. We get the manifolds on as soon as I get the lift up. I'm going to work on that probably tomorrow. Fold it down. Wire it up. Start using it. Got eight two position valves. Hmm. Got eight of those. So two per wheel. So ground and hot, ground and hot, two per wheel. All right. We're figuring this out. It's not too bad. Process of elimination. Where are we going to mount all those valves? That's the big question. Now, this right here should be the money box. Bags of fittings. I love to see it. Wiring. Wiring. Airline cutter. Thread lock. This is a good kit. So here's the eight solenoid brackets. So we'll have to mount these. Mount these. This is going to look awesome. All right. What I've been waiting for. Air Max 580. We'll have two of those bad boys. We just got to figure out where to mount all this stuff. Two bags we're going to put away. We don't need those right now. He's already got two bags installed. Tank. Solenoids. Lines. Fittings. It's getting it's getting technical. This is the, the fun part, trying to figure out how it's gonna look. That's why I'm leaving it open. I might make a uh, raised floor for it or something that raises up, tonneau cover. I don't want to. I want to leave it exposed. Maybe a roll-up cover. That would be trick. A roll-up cover off a new truck. Now I'm thinking. But anyways, I don't think I'm doing much, but I'm trying to get her my thought process laid out. Just trying to figure it out myself, trying to see where I think I might want stuff to go. I'm not real sure, honestly. I'm worried about moisture. Water coming up in there. I mean, you could say you're never gonna leave it out in the rain, but it rains all the time. So it's hard to uh, it's hard to predict the weather. Everything's going to look good in there. That gas tank's going to stick out like a sore thumb. But got to uh, just planning right now. There's no blueprint for any of this. 
So I don't care. I'm gonna have two Optima batteries, reds, that's red, truck's red, got kind of a nice little theme going on. I like to just black everything out and have a little bit of accent here and there. I just don't really know. It's kind of going to be like a display piece. It's kind of show what I can do or anyone can do. So I want everything to be exposed. We'll keep messing around with it. I'll get some stuff laid out. We'll catch back up in a few minutes. So I decided to mount these signs I've had forever in the corners. That corner and this corner kind of give me a little dry area. Mount my compressors. Uh, these signs was from an old store down in the hills from here. The only hills we got. And this old lady named Kate Hall ran this store. I'm not sure how long. She had to be in her 90s. And uh, first place I ever bought beer. So once the place closed, I ended up with the signs. And uh, they was on another project I built once on the door panels. And when I sold that, I kept them. So here they go again. We're going to use them again. Ten years later on another project, I'm drilling holes and tapping, screwing them down with bolts and lock washers so it won't rattle and it shouldn't go anywhere. Then we can mount a compressor right to that and it shouldn't rattle. Got my three bolts here. I did a job one time. Kept all the bolts. I still use them. This might not be the proper way to do it, but I don't care. Jennifer thinks we should have this done for rod run. I think Jennifer's crazy. But also you gotta set deadlines or you'll never reach your goal. These signs are two different cut sizes. I haven't showed you this yet. This is going to be all the electronics, fuses, relays, maybe. I don't really like the way it looks now. I need to find a place to put it. Do, do, do. We are getting somewhere, boys. We're a lot farther than we was this morning. There's a lot to figure out here. I'm just thinking. All right, we're back. Never left. Just did film some of the stuff. Get air tank mounted. Getting these pieces of metal mounted. Create a little dry space in here. Uh, everything's working good. Here's the Terminator X wiring. We'll route it down through there. It'll come up right to the battery. But, moving along. Figuring this low rider stuff out. Got our solenoids over here. This will be to the rear. Uh, Teflon tape, at least four or five wraps on everything. You want to wrap your tef Teflon tape in the way that your fitting threads in. That way when you go to screw it in, it don't back out. Don't be afraid to use too much. This stuff's real thin. It'll, it'll work. Four or five wraps. Got my little Dewalt fan are running. 
I think down here on this, well, no, we don't really have a place for uh, airing up tires. That's kind of crazy. All those holes. Oh. Maybe up here. All right. In this fancy little cutter, see if it actually works. We're going to make all of our we're going to make all of our corresponding tubes the same length this tube to the rear this tube to the rear those will be the same length then the lines from the solenoids to the bags will be the same length that way it airs up and down at the same time at the same rate it'd be two buttons and you can control ride height that way with separate buttons uh, that way if you got too much on one side Give her a little, eh, eh, give her a little more. I'm not an expert at this, so if I'm doing it wrong, make sure you do it right. thing is don't be afraid to do it there it is I've been looking all over for that there's my pressure switch right there man I thought they gypped me on that but found it let's go ahead and tape it while we got it here this will turn our compressors on and off this will turn our solenoids on Get some vice grips. Channel locks to tighten that up. Where was I? Man, I thought I couldn't find that anywhere. I already almost ordered one online. Just so I could get it coming. Never had anything with air ride on it. I'm pretty excited. This puts me in a whole new club of people right here. We already got our pet cock in the bottom. It's all ready to go. It's taped up and installed. Go ahead and put this line on. Try to match everything up. Tight. Tightness. Button them up. One of the rear bags done. 